Snoopy Radio in your area code, on the plane, on the train, on the east, in the west, everywhere you need to be. I am your host, Brandon Scoopy Robinson, joined by my new friend, Victorious Miller. What's going on, brother? What's going on? What's going on? Working my tail off. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. You doing the same thing, I know. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. You just wrapped up your junior year at Compass Prep out in Arizona, correct? Yes, sir. So tell me something. When I was doing my research on you, everybody seems to think that there is a comparison between you and Jalen Green. Yeah. Is it just the hair? I don't know. I think we do have some similarities, but I think it just might be the look, the skin complexion, um, hair. We both Filipino, so that could be something. I know for me, watching Michael Jordan um, and the Bulls in the 90s was what really got me into basketball. For you, who was that or what was that moment that said, I like this, I want to do this as a career? Um, Just like watching a lot of NBA players like Steph Curry. I watched him. I watched LeBron. I seen like all the series. Just like watching them compete and like just like doing everything you could do, like, you know, working out to like get – to where they're at and stuff like that. I like that. You know, I like to work hard and stuff. And I, and I feel like if I could just lock in, I can make that happen. So that's one thing. I want to just prove myself right. Playing in high school basketball in your junior year, are you more comfortable in your skin? Yeah, for sure. I learned a lot of new things going to AZ Compass. So my senior year is going to be a movie. Why? Um, I'll just say um, had a little ups and downs, but I got through it. So I just know that whatever um, God got planned for me next year is going to be a breeze. Before you were at Compass, did you play in California? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Korean Luther. Okay. So the difference in style between Cali Ballers and Arizona, wh where do you find the similarities and the differences? I, I think it's the same. You know, it's West Coast. So I think it's pretty much the same. I didn't really find too much of a difference. I just know – um. I'll probably say just Cali got, like, team ball, I would mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You um got a lot of schools looking at you, uh, taking a, a look at just your interest or your, the people that have interest in you. Arizona State, Auburn, Cal Poly, Georgetown, Georgia Tech. Have you visited any of those schools yet? I already visited Kansas. Um, USC, I go. I went there before. Uh, UCLA, I've been there. Um Oregon, I just went to Oregon recently. Those are the um, schools that I've been to. I'll start here. USC, it seems that there are a lot of legacy kids who are going there, either just as yeah. students or just as ball ballplayers. Um, Bronny James rings bells like Sundays at 12 o'clock. For you, um, have you played against him? Have you played with him? What 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 do you like about his game and and, and, and all that good stuff? Yeah, I used to play for uh, Sharper Greenness, so that's his team. Um, we, yeah, we play, we play with each other, play against each other, all types of stuff. What do you like about the USC campus? I just like um, how homey it feels. I mean, it's at, it's in Cali, so. And um, my uncle went there and my cousin, so it's just, it's cool over there. The gym is nice, too. Yeah, it is. Um, Kansas, um, when you took a visit there, what do you make of their tradition and just um, the way that they treat players there? Yeah, uh, no. They treat their players uh, pretty straight up. They're going to tell you what it is, um, for sure. And when I went there, it was just a crazy experience. They show mad love, especially when the uh, team – so the team won last year, um, I think it was last year. So, yeah, they were just, like, showing mad love to all the players. And then, you know, um, basketball originated there. Uh, James Naismith, he went there. So, it's, it's crazy. Like, the history there is wild. What do you like about UCLA Rivals of USC? I mean, it's cool. I, I like it over there. I went to the game. It was, it was good. You're going into your senior season. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like um, you're definitely opening eyes to many people in your game. Where do you feel that you still need to improve going into next year? Um, I feel like I could prove on a little bit of everything. You know, I, I don't think I like lack of something um, like nothing crazy. It's like lack. Oh. He needs to work on shooting only. Like, nah, I just feel like I just got to touch more, a lot of everything around my game. Got to get stronger, too, though. That's one of the main things I'm working on. What music is in your playlist going into a big game? Oh, um, I, like, I don't like listening to music. I just like to, um, I feel like hype music, it gets you hype for the moment. But when you're in the game, 
there's no music. So I just like to just chill. Um, I like to pray before my game, just ease everything and don't overhype the situation. So I just go in there and we're just, just kind of like being mellow. Just, um, so I saw um, that you made mention of um, Kobe, or rather you made mention of LeBron, you made mention of other people, but how inspirational was Kobe uh, to, to basketball? Yeah. Now Kobe was a big uh, super uh, inspirational. Just he had a he had a gym over there, a uh, thousand oaks. Uh, I used to always go there and work out and stuff like that. Uh, his mentality is crazy. Um, I used to yeah, I used to take down his mid ranges a lot too. That's one of the main reasons why I got a, a good midi. So yeah, watching him and then the shoes were tough. I like all the sh all the shoes he came out with. So I've heard legendary stories um, from people. Uh, particularly when Kobe was a rookie in the league and playing for the Lakers. And most of those guys on that Lakers team were older than him. And then he related to the Barry Davises and, and the Earl Watsons who, who played for UCLA at the time. Um, in your walk of life, in your experience, did you ever cross paths with certain NBA players? And it was kind of like, wow, like in awe. Um, I'll probably say LeBron. Um, he put up to a practice once and I was like, man, like this guy is really like the person giving all these guys buckets and stuff. It's just like how tall he is and the way he moves is just like, yeah, that was probably one of the people. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Victor Wibignana, uh San Antonio Spur, um, to me exemplifies the culmination of um, the Giannis's. The KDs, the the Tracy McGrady's, I feel like the tall, lanky player that can do a million and one different things is here to stay for a while. I feel I, that's the prototype. Versus probably before them, you saw LeBron, who was a, a combination of Penny Hardaway or Magic Johnson and, and Michael Jordan. Um, my question for you is: When you look at somebody like KD, you look at somebody like Wembenyana. Um, what in your mind? What's the next thing? I don't know. Maybe an eight footer coming in the league soon. I don't know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was looking. What well, he seven five? So yeah, maybe an eight footer. So, what about the center that has the Jokic look, the skill set? Yeah, I, I don't really know. I feel like Jokic is a uh, is a dog. He's a beast and stuff like that. I feel like Jokic's build is pretty good. You know, he uses that to his advantage. He um body's a smaller player uh i don't know he's real like stationary so he can't get really moved off his pivot and stuff like that so yeah that's real that's real so you said that you do not listen to music before big games what music do you listen to when you don't have big games um young boy for sure i like scissor raw wave uh yeet i like yeet um i like um uh, Herbo, G Herbo. I like rappers like that, Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, OT7 Kwani too. Yeah. You you gotta you gotta start in five in a in a bench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. So the transition from playing college or high school ball in California to Arizona. Um was it a big transition for you? We talked about the skill set and the style of play people play, but was it a transition for you? Did you miss? Do you miss Cali? Mm, yeah, I would say so. You know, I, uh, I get the chance to come back sometimes, like when, whenever we get a break and stuff like that. But yeah, it's not too far of a trip, so I don't really mind it. Lakers games, Clippers games, or Phoenix Suns games? Mm, Suns and Lakers tie, and then Clippers. I'll do that. Are you saying that because they got KD and Bradley Bill within the last year? I am saying that. Yeah. How cool would it be to see them bring a championship to the Valley? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Uh, I was trying to, I was low key room for them, but you know, it didn't happen because I, I go to the games here and there too when I get the chance. So. LA food, Phoenix food. LA. LA. Okay. What is Phoenix fashion? Mm, I feel like it's um a summer fashion because, you know, it's super hot out there. So people, you know, they wear like jorts, shirts, um, like, I don't know how to explain the fashion out there. It's like, it's kind of similar to Cali, really. 
it's really hot out there, so you won't see nobody wearing like no puffer jackets and nothing like, nothing like that. Best advice that you've received through this whole process? Just stop caring what people think about you. They're going to critique regardless of what you do. So stop caring what people think. That's one of the main things. And don't overhype the situation. That's the two. Going into your senior season, do you want to be a better passer or more efficient scorer? Um, I'll probably say passer, passer, passer. If you had to name your all-time starting five NBA players, who would they be? All right, bet. Okay, so I got Curry at the one, Kobe at the two, LeBron at the three, Giannis at the four, and I'll go mm, Shaq at the five. I like that. You did you, the the Shaq at the five is the one who threw me. I thought you was gonna say Jokic. Yeah, nah, I got with Shaq. Yeah. Why Shaq? I don't know. I feel like he's just a, a dominant big. I feel like everybody needs that on their team. So yeah. How old were you the first time you met him? Um, I think I met him young. I, I be seeing him around and stuff like that. I know his uh, I know his kids and stuff. So I think I seen him like around 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, 10, 10, 10. Madden or 2K? 2K. What squad you rolling with? Um, I low key, I mess with um, the Bucks. I just be spam using Giannis. Just get, he will have, end up having 50 with me. Just rim run, dunk it every time. On the P5 or the Xbox? Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Android or iPhone? iPhone. Smart man you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's the good news. You're off the hot seat. Yeah. We're done. Sir. I appreciate your time, brother. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Sir.